Well, hey everyone and welcome back to SOC Outdoors. Fourth of July. Got the canopy set up, some chairs. The ladies are out getting stuff to grill. The grill's in the vehicle. In here in the pond after bluegill, I'll probably cast around for some bass. I already caught a nice sunfish, just some worms and some bobbers. I'm gonna spend the whole day out here hanging out, having a good time. Got the dog, just the whole family. SOC 4th of July adventure. Say what's up, Dan and Ethan. What's up? So, so we're gonna get on some fish, do some grilling, just relax, being outside, have a good time. You want me to rip it out in a good spot? So one hand, I can see a bunch, so maybe we'll shorten you up. I just set a camera out there in the water and just watch the bluegill come past it. Dan got one. Nice. Fish right there, so you're gonna catch one. Watch that bobber, it's gonna pick up. Dan got one, little, little, little. It's the biggest bluegill you've ever seen. The biggest bluegill I've ever seen. Not, and he didn't even swallow it. That's good to go. It's yours is gonna stand up when something's on it because it's gonna pull it down. Meow. See all of them right in front of us? A lot of little bluegill. The move might be the kayaks and get out there in the deeper water. But I think I'm gonna throw a top water and just pop it across and have some bass come up and explode on it. Ethan got probably the smallest of the day. Doesn't even have color. It's a baby. Gonna throw it back? Yep. Good job, Ethan. Everybody's on the board. Eventually we'll catch some bigger ones coming through. Yep. But until then, got these little ones. Yep. Man, it's already a fun day. Like I always say, it's always a good day to get out and do some adventuring outdoors. Having the canopy makes it nice. Got to throw some SOC logos on the outside though. Dan and Ethan both got one. Are they keepers? No. Mine's just sitting out there not catching nothing. Okay, while they're out there doing that, I'm gonna text this rig or some kind of bass or pike in there. I'm gonna put on this red octopus. Well, I'm gonna Texas rig this big old worm. What do you think I'll catch on this? Nothing. This can slip free. Bounce it across the bottom. Okay, one weed out of the way. See how it moves through? Then you jig it around. Just gotta get it out there past the weed line. Hey, I got a fish. Well, I had a fish. I'd probably catch fish if I get past these weeds. I think so. It's a bass killer. This is a spot where apparently you need a kayak because other than this little clear spot, we got nothing. We'll try to find a spot. Down the way where I can get through weeds and get down to deeper water quicker. Let's see what's in here. Got 
either a pike or a bass, but it feels kind of pikey. They're ripping through these weeds. Go. Yeah. Told you it was a bass killer. Wow. I ripped through about a hundred yards of weeds. The old bass killer. A little bass, but she's pretty. So I didn't have to do nothing. I casted it out and then I was sitting there getting ready to flip the bale. And all of a sudden, Ree! God, this water's so warm. Yeah, it's like 75, maybe warmer. Up in the shallows anyway. All righty, time for another one. Oh, what a lovely day. Catch a bass, catch some bluegill with the family. Okay, now I'm gonna go over by them and bust one out top water. Okay, got a topwater frog out there. Mine. I don't think I got bait on it. Now, if you set that hook right on there, it'll be weedless. So the tip of the hook's back into the plastic. Then you can drag it through weeds and it won't get hooked up. I can't see that far. However, the tip of the hook's not going to hook weeds. Should have got some top water frogs. Yeah, but only I only got the one. I'd like a realistic colored one. Frog. A green. This water's so clear, anything realistic will work. Or anything really, really bright. Probably get rid of this. Yeah, Fingernail clippers. Did you guys get sunscreen for you whiteies? Got when he's stirring up all the water. She's not even swimming. She's just walking around <laughs> in deep enough water. When I first had her in, she just laid down in it. Fishing line. Fishing line. Yeah. yeah. Winnie, Winnie, stop. Winnie, where did you find all this? Good job cleaning up the watershed, Winnie. <laughs> Winnie came back with this. Nice. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, less to get tangled on or have ducks get tangled in and die. Winnie doesn't retrieve anything but old fishing line, huh? Mac would have brought him back. Decoys. That was Mac's weakness, is he really liked to bring back decoys. Look, a duck! You guys have been sitting here with these things here the whole time. Apparently, Winnie's a line retriever. Good girl. It's so funny that she just chomps at the water like a shark. <laughs> Get that one. <laughs> Winnie, come here. Come on. Good girl. Who's your good girl? Who's your good girl? Who's your good girl? Yeah, Mom got a keeper right though. Yeah. Way to go. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. So we give it Well, what do you do with keepers? <laughs> Can you be eating good tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah. look at it. It's if we catch so six more, <laughs> one person will be eating tonight. Right. Crawdad challenge. Seriously. Do I still like snap it? However you want. How does a crawdad swim? Look at mine. Look at mine coming at you right now. Back. How does a crawdad swim? Just like that. Get it, I'm fan. Nope. I got him. Okay, pipe, grab onto it. Not the pole, the fish. Watch his spines go from his mouth and feed your way down, remember? Just like you're doing it. What a little sissy. You're fried. <laughs> I know. You're gonna be miserable. Well, what am I gonna do on now? Oh, God. Put sunscreen on. Gotta go pull me a bass out of somewhere. Where the heck did that guy come from? I know where it went. Where did that go? I know where he's at. I can see him. That was a nice sized bass. Got a couple good keeper fish. I caught a nice bass. We're having fun. There's people out in the boat. Hello, uh, hello Ethan. Hello. Got the grill set up now. Cooler with our soft drinks, cheesy poofs, Becky and I's coffee, backpack with some food. Just gonna grill dogs, have a good time. This was a nice addition to the to the setup, it'll be great for camping. But we're just gonna keep fishing and enjoy this wonderful day. It's a great day with the family. Missing a few members of the family, but got a few. 
and it's just nice being out here. Well, good times. Nice coffee. I think we just got dogs, but we got some snacks, dogs, all kinds of fun. Hopefully we get on a bunch more. Course number one. Reeling dogs. Yeah. Reeling dogs. Reeling dogs. <laughs> Foot. Foot. <laughs> Hot dog. Didn't bring utensils, didn't bring much of nothing. It's okay. You can eat with the hands. Yeah, it's just hot dogs. Yeah. Cheers. I really would like fish for dinner. Well, get after it. I am. Well, look at it. How much, how much more fish do we need? Like, the big ones. like 20? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Depends on how long we stay. Oh. Yeah, it's only... It's only almost four hours. Okay. Yep, they'll start biting right before the tongue goes down. Yeah. I'd like to be able to take them back and eat them. Movie will taste real good. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't had hot dog fish to back and eat yet. Those perch we caught. We could have ate, but we didn't catch enough to make it worth it, and it's looking like that's what's going to happen today. Yeah. Bye. Love you, beggar. I doubt it. Who's ready for a hot dog? Me, oh, yeah. me. Thank you, Dad. Welcome, pipe. Hey. Ethan, you ready? Yep. Hot dogs are done. Brats going on. Got me a double dog. One's big enough. Double dog. Mm -hmm. All right. Wonderful day out at a local pond. Got the family and the dog out. Got some fish. Didn't end up keeping any. We let the ones we had on the stringer go because we didn't catch a lot. But it was a wonderful day outdoors. Got some adventuring in, got the dog out. Got Becky, got Pipes and Ethan, my sister and brother out there. Super easy, just went out and popped up a tent so you could get out of the sun. Becky should have stayed under it more. Or remember sunscreen. But be sure to hit like, Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. We're gonna get a few adventures in, gonna do some camping trips real soon. Make sure to check us out on social media, check out the website, look for the apparel online, get yourself some SOC Outdoors gear. As always, be sure to be kind to yourself, and if you can, be kind to someone else.